Synopsys tool supports black box models for hierarchical blocks in UPF flows where the block UPF can be loaded with black box instance as a scope. What is a black box? It is an empty module definition with only IO port definitions. This block is instantiated at the top level and we load its UPF file before loading the top level UPF using load UPF dash scope. In the top level UPF, we have the top level power domain definition and in this case, we also define the isolation strategy with respect to a slash add power domain because the location is parent. And then we have the top level to block level supply associations. ETM captures the timing information for a block in Liberty Syntax. It also has PG pin definitions, the related power and ground pin for all the signal pins and you can also define the internal power switch using the fine grain power switch definition. We load the block level UPF file using load UPF scope and then we define the top level UPF constructs and the associations. Block abstraction models captures all the block level data, including UPF. Here is a sample DC script to create a block abstract model. We use create block abstraction command. At the top level, there is a difference compared to the previous flows. Here we read the block abstract.ddc, enable block abstraction settings, and then run propagate constraints dash power to make block level UPF data visible at the top. And now we create all the top level UPF constructs and the associations of supplies. The setPort attribute construct plays an important role in the hierarchical UPF flow, especially during the block level implementation. Here we can see an example block level UPF file with all its constructs. The UPF file will also have the setPort attributes. In this case, we associate all the inputs and output ports to add.vdd supply. This is because at the top level, we will associate the add.vdd to top.primary. During the block level implementation, it will get the right I.O. constraint.